सदाशिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्य पर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ सहनावत सह नौ भुनक्त सह वीर्जंकवाह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मेषा वह ओ शांति 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 यं ब्रह्म वरुणेन्द्रुद्रमु स्तुन्व दिव्यस्तव वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गायती यं साम गावस्थि तदेन मनसा पश्यती यं योगिन यन्न विदुसुरासुरगण देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम संसिधि लभते नर संसिधि लभते नर स्वकर्म निरत सिद्धि स्वकर्म निरत सिद्धि यथा विंदति तच्छ्रुणो यदा विंदति तच्छ्रुणो यतः प्रवृत्तिर भूतानां यदा प्रवृत्तिर भूतानां येन सर्वमिदं ततम् येन सर्वमिदं ततम् स्वकर्मणा तमभ्यर्च्य स्वकर्मणा तमभ्यर्च सिद्धिं विंदति मानवः सिद्धिं विंदति मानवः श्रेयान् स्वधर्मो विगुणः श्रेयान् स्वधर्मो विगुणः परधर्मात् स्वनुष्ठितात् परधर्मात् स्वनुष्ठितात् स्वभाव नियत कर्म स्वभाव नियत कर्म कुर्वन्नाति किलिशम कुर्वन्नाति किलिशम सहज कर्म कौंदेय सहज कर्म कौंदेय सदोषमी नत्यजेत सदोषमी नत्यजेत सर्वारंभा ही दोषेण सर्वारंभा ही दोषेण धूमेनाग्निरिवृता धूमेनाग्निरिवृता असक्त बुद्धि सर्वत्र असक्त बुद्धि सर्वत्र जितात्मा विगत स्पृह जितात्मा विगत स्पृह नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि परमा नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि परमा संन्यासेनाधि गच्छति संन्यासान संन्यासान संन्यासेनाधि गच्छति या <coughs> सो 
So from Shloka 41 onwards, Brahmana Kshatriya Visham. Sri Krishna was reminding Arjuna about the framework that is available. The parents have children and then the children are growing up. So in the initial stages, the parents' only concern is the health of the baby, what is to be fed and any medical, you know, not well means immediately take care of the baby because vulnerable period. And then slowly, six months, one year, two years, after that, it becomes stable. And the child will go play, etc. But then there comes a time when the parents will say, now it's time for you to go to school. Some school, some place where children meet and study. That's the framework. A framework is given. The, until now, parents were not worried about their framework, even though they came out of that same framework. And then, but now the child has to be sent into that framework, surrendered to that framework. And it's all available, readily available. Nobody invented it. The parents did not invent it, did not create it. It's all available. Okay, KG, this, that, that, etc. So the whole system is available. Krishna is reminding Arjuna, hey, there is a system. Even for, that is that, what was what I just said also is part of the system. But then I have to finally choose to do something. After college, suddenly what happens? You know, when we were ready to do research, after finishing our undergraduate, I was a bit confused. I said, what do you mean by research and what am I supposed to do? You have, If you are interested in research, you only have to decide which area you have to do research. No, no, you tell me. You tell me is not a good thing to do. That means you are not, you, we need to talk a lot. <laughs> what is it you are interested in by then, etc. So that kind of, some, I, I, I don't think I got that kind of education. I am not, not blaming the education system, but the Indian education system at that time did not prepare me for all. They make you do some projects and all that. But the more I felt. So, here, we are talking about our life here. And so, profession is also part of my life. And now Krishna is saying, you know what? You choose your profession based on who you are. Sobhavajam. Okay, begin thinking about it even before you finish that, before you come to the age of 8, 17, 18, 19, like that, 20 or 16. Before you come, you begin thinking about it. Then what happens? Brahmana, Chatri, Visham and all. The, any society has these kinds of things and the whole spectrum is there. You can fill, fit yourself in any of these slots. Any of these slots. And uh, then in the last shloka number 48, we saw this thing, Sahajam Karma Kaunte, yeah. Okay, Sadosham Api Natya Je. What is natural to you? You may not be good at it because you need a lot of training, you need a lot of study, uh, etc. is required. Just because I like to do it, I want to be a dentist. As a kid, I used to say, I want to be a dentist. I don't know why I said that. I'm still I'm thinking, why, what made me say that? And so, I want to be a dentist means you simply can't graduate and just start becoming a dentist. No, there's so much to study. And a uh, person may, child may be good at all these things and somehow got that, uh, samskara is there. But a lot of thing is there and a lot of uh, uh, that skill is required. So here, Krishna is making a very important statement for everybody, every human being in this world, actually. He's saying, what is he saying? Sadosham api natya ji. Sadosham api. Hey, this karma, when it comes to karma, it is not like 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. It's a finite number, fixed, deterministic. 2 plus 3 is 5 over. But karma is not like that. Karma is always up and down. Even the best to cook, there are some days when the cook will say, what is this? Is this what I made this food? I'm so ashamed of myself. He's saying, don't be ashamed of yourself. Krishna is saying, don't be ashamed of yourself. Don't say that. This is how it is. This is how it's going to be. And uh, don't 
judge yourself harshly based on these outcomes. Outcomes is not in your hands. Sadosha Mati, very important statement. Doesn't mean you should stop doing better. Stop looking for better ways to accomplish what you're doing. That you should do. But don't, don't have wrong expectations. Wrong expectations, very high expectations which can't be met. All these things are there. And challenge yourself, no doubt. You have to challenge yourself. Nothing wrong with that. Have people who can help you. Always, always good to have people who, who provide some inspiration. There are dull moments. There are depressing moments sometimes. And so he's saying this. This is a very important part. I think that this, I like this thing because this perfection, many people, many people are just perfectionists. And I also was in a trap like that until one person, one psychologist told me that. And so I told you that before. And then I realized to let go, let go, let go, let go. My whole years I spent telling myself, let go, let go, let go. It's all right. It's all right. Just enjoy what you're doing. Did you enjoy what you're doing? Yes. That's it. Accomplished. You're already accomplished. It doesn't matter if some people are criticizing you. Like that, I have to tell myself. And uh, so that was a tough journey. Very difficult journey it was. I had to constantly remind myself. Constantly. People say how to improve yourself in daily life, Krishna and all. This is Krishna in daily life. Krishna in daily life only it is. For me, it was all daily life only. <laughs> For some people, it's weekly life, I suppose. No, it's all uh, daily life. So... Hmm. What happened? This thing is. <clears throat> People based on their karma, their intention. Their attitude, their attitude towards the work and towards people and everything. That is very important. Their motivation, their intention, that is so important. I read an article recently. They said cholesterol, that thing about cholesterol, high, the, 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 cholesterol being high and it's, it's, it damages your heart and this and that. They say it is not correct. Something like that. Okay, I saw that thing. And it came in the Indian Express or something. So I asked, some of the doctors can tell us about it in such a period. So that's, this is exactly what it is. That just, just, it doesn't matter even if it's not truthful. As long as I can make money out of it, just go and push it down the throats of the entire universe. This, this, we don't allow all this. In our culture, it is wrong. It is just papa karma. It is not correct at all. Money for whose sake? For whose sake money? What is the point in just, just, just... So that's not correct. So he's saying, Sadosha Mapi, this is how it's going to be. Don't beat yourself. The life has so many more things to offer. And do your best with a good attitude. That is it. And like that, he said in the previous shloka, now he's going to say, Asakta buddhihi, right? Asakta buddhi sarvatra jitatma vigata spruhaha naishkarmya siddhim paramam sanyasena adhikachyati. Okay? So these shlokas, um, if you see, from 41 onwards, he's talking about the framework, a lifestyle, an attitude. Karma yoga is talking about. Sve sve karmani abhirataha. Okay. Enjoy what you do as far as possible. If you don't like it, until you find a job you like, you try to learn to enjoy what you what you do. All that we saw. Shreyan, Swadharma. Swadharma is so important. Everything we saw. Now he is transitioning. After all this attitude and all, what is the purpose? After that, is there something else? Yeah. After karma yoga, there is something else. We already know that. It's called Jnana Yoga. I'm supposed to prepare my mind for, for the, the ultimate goal of life the Shastra is talking about through Upanishads. Okay? And through Bhagavad Gita also. And so he's now introduced the word 
सन्यासेन नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि परमाम अधिगच्छति अधिगच्छति मींस गेन्स और नोस गेन्स गेनिंग हियर इज नोइंग ऑब्वियसली एंड सो दैट इज इंडिकेटेड हियर आफ्टर ऑल दिस असक्त बुद्धि ही दैट पर्सन बिकम्स अ असक्त बुद्धि ही सर्वत्र असक्त बुद्धि ही संगवर्जित the person now recognizes that there is no thing out there that is going to make me happy it's that, that much i have understood that much i have understood i don't need any vedanta to understand that okay and so that person is now an asakta buddhi he is attitude is good because now see now this is a very unique subject because your attitude becomes very important compassion amanitvam madanvitvam ahimsa shanti rajyamam all these things become very important to some extent they are important in professional life also good employers will look for these attributes in a, in 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 a, in recruits okay good employers they will look for they will see, what i read a book a called good to great from good to great or good to great it is called It's a fantastic book. I uh, some Collins or somebody's author, I think. Okay, he is talking about how there are many good companies and then there are great companies. What is the difference between good companies and great companies? What he's talking about? I I don't read these books, really speak, because I mean I'm not analyzing stocks and companies and all that. And but I some somehow I came this book came into my hand and I saw this book. Beautiful, simple language. He writes. He analyzes companies, and he talks about companies and companies that are way up for great companies. And then he talks about values. Come CEOs that value values, and the CEO that says, "I'm going to collect all good people first and put them in a bus, then decide where to go," as opposed to deciding where to go. and bringing people to go there i was so i was ecstatic when i saw all these things i didn't know these things were possible and this guy writes a book on this i was so happy valid validation of vedanta and so asakta buddhi sorry yeah This is why studying in an ashram makes a big difference, because this distraction will not be. But, but then, what do we say? Hey, what what happened to your attitude? Why are you upset? This is grasshash. This is this is you're blessed to teach sitting in a home, and so what? Complain? Yeah. So I'm not complain. So anyway, this person becomes an asakta buddhi. Okay, through all this karma yoga, okay, asakta buddhi means what? The person appreciates that uh, th- th- there is no permanent fulfillment out there, and so I am dependent on so many things for survival of this body. But I know that permanent fulfillment and those things that I am dependent on, there is no connection. There is no connection at all. Just for survival, I am dependent on these things. Okay, and so. So this world can therefore be. Then I want. Then we come to Vedanta, Jnana Yoga. World is neither a source of joy nor a source of sorrow. Also, ah, huge statements. These are. How can you say the world is not a source of sorrow? Huh? How can anybody even make this statement? Yeah, it is not. That is a fact. No, but my husband, my wife, my children, they give me joy. Correct. Enjoy, enjoy. Good. At least you have some sorts of enjoyment in life. Enjoy it. <laughs> But after some time, you'll have to ask the question: What is the real source of joy? <laughs> And when that question comes, you'll come to Vedanta. And uh, so you are the problem. You are the solution. That's a famous Swamiji statement. And Shastra only it is: You are the problem. You are the solution. Udhare Atmanatmanam Atmanam Avasadayi. Correct. A. Hey, Atma, you are your best friend. Then what about Guru and Shiva and Vishnu and all? They are, yeah, sure, they are meant for us only. 
we are are we meant for them or they are meant for us hey, we, they, we are not meant for them they are meant for us they are all there for us to help us all guru also can help me and will help me but guru cannot do one thing dred atman atmanam what is it they, you can take the horse to water but you cannot make it drink sorry guru also same category guru is very capable of doing certain things but still it has to go through the mind penetrate through the mind of people and then the person has to say yes i am getting it yes 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 and so that person has to convince himself person and so uh, asakta buddhi hi dekho bahar sarvatra sarvatra okay sarvatra okay sami used to say you know suppose okay ved advaita vedanta acharya and then you are the whole this is the teaching and then suddenly suppose sometime later somebody comes up with a new idea of moksha is it possible advaita vedanta now something better has come up so swami will say oh my god i am going to give up this thing something better has come up chakracharya says oh acharya ji is calling his guruji and say we have something new what is this what tradition what is this this is new okay you are the whole you are free you are liberated here now here and now what is better than that hard to even it's hard to even concoct something better than that just manufacture something better than that imagine something better than that not possible not at all possible that's why asakta buddhi sarvatra a something when i go somewhere to heaven i will get attracted by some things and that will make my life better this idea also given up completely because that also is prayers only if something is a joyful enjoyable in in indra loka which yama says there are things we have pramanam for all this i am not saying such things are not available i am saying such things are available better things are there in other lokas who who boa and all is there but then sitting here i can say none of them will give me lasting fulfillment moksha ledu moksha ki baat hi nahi hai in fact indra loka people have forgotten that there is something called moksha they are thinking that they are, they are, they have got moksha they don't know they forgotten the fact that after this long life <laughs> krishna has said you are going to come back to mrithi lok they have forgotten because that life is like that and the joy is just full of joy we forget all these things so therefore sarvatra we saw all these things last time and so that narada chandogya upanishad how many how many shastras we have how many stories how many statements narada is saying of all people he is saying to sarat kumara you know i am i am i am the expert in everything every vidya even ayurveda i am the expert any vidya i am the expert non sciences people are studying many sciences all the time expert there are many sciences that are still they don't know they drive not even is not even there in their radar they are going to see it later like neuroscience was not there in the radar of people 100 years ago only now every child is saying i want to do neuroscience hey bapre then you get this vedanta people will get inferiority complex neuroscience acha what is yeah, what is neuroscience uh, did i miss something i am talking about moksha and all that neuroscience yeah just science of how knowledge what's with the whole the brain functions much so like that narada is saying i know all that stuff but there is only one problem i have i'm sad we saw all these stories and so shruta shruta he maya bhagavat drishepya i have heard from people who have seen bhagavan that being a mantra with is not enough knowing mantras is not enough i have to be an atma with Like that he says, "Tarati shoka matma viti iti shrutam." I have heard that the atma vit, the person who knows atma, has completely crosses over sorrow. That is talking. 
and so therefore asakta buddhi sarvatra vigata spraha okay. and spraha uh, vigata similar similar idea as this asakta buddhi and uh, not craving spraha is actually craving it's more than desire it's just just uh, the binding desire craving i can't survive without something that kind of a craving is there and which is uh, which is in the wrong state but i can survive without that something really speaking but i have become a victim of this of that something something okay so ruha versus desire sak sakti hi asakti hi sakti is desire about things in my possession tamaji gives that meaning what is the difference between sakta and spraha both are meaning same but then sakta is about desire for things i possess already spraha is for things i do not possess but i want to possess that is called spraha therefore vigata spraha is saying he is saying anything future some new a gadget i send it to you and then you get attracted to it and become a victim of it that is also not possible for this person a person may enjoy using that new gadget but becoming a victim is not possible okay so that is what he is saying vigata spraha ha so all these things are important all these things are important that, that, that is why that's because it's taking us towards the journey of saying hey you are free right now you are free not after death you are going to be free no right now you are free and that is why dhyanam is possible why dhyanam how can anybody sit for 10 minutes half an hour just like that i told you this example i i got this that can be conducted a swamiji had come and dhyanam was being conducted and then towards the end of the dhyanam i could not sit i could not sit this was un- new to me dhyanam was new to me sitting for half an hour was new to me and then i understood the thing and then it became natural then when i conducted a session in somebody's house there was a good friend of mine who could not sit who after the thing is over he just got up purnamadaha om shanti he also i did not finish chanting like a spring he got up and then i knew i knew about the person also but i so difficult it is so so that is why in our shlokas and all vishnu sahasranamam atha dhyanam jiro danvat pradeshe shuchi mani vilasat saikate mauktika na what is all this thing atha dhyanam we are supposed to do dhyanam we are supposed to invoke vishnu in any form you know in vishnu it could be rama it could be rama and sita it could be krishna it could be vishnu shiro danvat pradeshe so helping us visualize that vishnu shesha shesha sai vishnu just relax when vishnu is relaxing i can also relax so dhyanam very important shlokas these are in fact we should know the meaning of dhyana shlokas before knowing the meaning of the rest of the vishnu sahasra nama everywhere rudram atha dhyanam and lalita sahasra nama atha dhyanam atha dhyanam hey guys dhyanam don't ignore it don't skip it skipping also in this this kali yuga everything skip shortcut kuch shortcut hai kuch bataiye aap ye kya hai 720 shlokas bhagavad gita kuch shortcut batao yaar there must be some shortcut bhagavan cannot produce human beings without giving shortcuts you know that also the logic also we give and the teacher gets confused oh really my guru ji did not teach me any shortcuts so to the inferiority complex wherever you go so sindura aruna vigraha so like that you visualize devi let devi come to my mind Let it be five minutes, ten minutes. Let it take extra. Find a time when you say, "Okay, just turn off the phone. Just tell people I am not available for the next half an hour, forty-five minutes. 
and then i want to do what i have always been doing but now differently now i want to chant dhyanam and just concentrate on the dhyan i can visualize devi in me nothing different no vedanta nothing just i want to visualize devi vishnu shiva come into me and then chant it then see what happens magic will happen okay previously i was chanting very fast every uh, every every day i was no okay don't do every day do once in two days it's enough do it slowly once in two days it's all right if you don't chant every day give yourself that that leisure give yourself leisure beating ourselves not good so therefore vigata spraha we need to become a vigata spraha it's it's talking about a person okay and so jitatma see again he is bringing all the words we have seen before jitatma jitah atma yena sah the one by whom atma is one over this is atma is one over there is no question of winning atma the winner is atma the loser is atma what is one also is atma everything is atma so this atma cannot mean sachidananda atma it has to mean the body mind sense complex atma Like in the Udhare Atmana Atmanam, there that Atmana Atmana Atmanam reflects to the self, Ahankara, the body, the mind. Hey, help yourself. Don't criticize yourself. Like that. So here also, Jita Atma means the guy is a Shami, Dami. He has all the attributes, Shama, Dama, Itya. Those attributes are all there. That person is called Jita Atma. All connected. All these words are all connected. There is no. There's no this wall. There's not hard and fast line between these two. But mastery here, Jitatma, overall mastery of the body, minds, and sense, overall mastery. And so the person is a karma yogi. Tama is adhikari. Adhikari, vive kam vaira gyam shamadamani satka sampatti mamukshutam. Everything is there. Sadhana chetustaya sampanna ha. All these are synonyms. all right so then that first line is talking about this uh, asakta buddhi etc the the end point of all the practicing all the values and leading a life of dharma and ishwararpana buddhi and prasada buddhi that has made him like this made her like this okay then what is the use of all this is being said in the next line नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धिम अधिगच्छति अधिगच्छति गेन्स मोक्षम अधिगच्छति नैष्कर्म्य सिद्धि सो ऑल इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स इन इन वेदांता इट्स डिफिकल्ट टू फॉलो वी ऑलरेडी स्टडीड ऑल दिस सो सिद्धि द वर्ड सिद्धि हैज मेनी मीनिंग्स पॉपुलर मीनिंग ऑफ सिद्धि is some miraculous powers correct siddha on who is siddhi is called a siddha some miraculous powers they have which human beings cannot even imagine that kind of a power is called a siddhi it can even mean things like levitating sitting and then suddenly going up and then coming down it's possible these are all their sciences are there one can learn to get these magical powers or figuring out what is there which is out of your sight but close by all these are siddhis or living long life just sitting without eating nothing and then just surviving 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 for a long time that's a siddhi it's all possible that is not the meaning here that's not the meaning so you take up, take out that meaning another meaning of siddhi here is two meanings we can give one is called goal the goal is called siddhi i have a goal what's the goal of your life what is the goal you are doing this particular assignment what do you want to achieve so that what i want to achieve or the siddhi goal itself is called siddhi so naishkarmya siddhi means what that person now has the goal of what naishkarmyam naishkarmyam the person understands has has some understanding of this atma being akarta naishkarmyam 
unaffected by karma not karta not bhokta unaffected by karma means not karta unaffected by karma phalam means not a bhokta and therefore there is something about the self the atma that i don't know i've been thinking i am a victim of all these things no there is an atma that is not a victim of anything and that is because that atma is naishkarmyam so my goal this person has come to recognize that there is something called atma which is naishkarmyam okay achedyo yam adahyo yam akledyo ashoshya cha nitya sarvagata sthano achalo achalo yam sanatana na jayate priya like this we have seen all these things that is naishkarmya atma that person gets that idea that there is now now the direction of my life is shifting that now i understand what is the purpose of this life i am now a karma yogi and now i am able to appreciate what the upanishad is going to say what bhagavad gita is going to say what krishna is saying in so many chapters second chapter fourth chapter sixth chapter fifth chapter like this 13th chapter and so on and so forth okay mahavakyam now becomes real to me more and more real possibility is now there to me okay so that is one meaning of naishkarmya siddhi okay another meaning of siddhi is accomplishment itself the accomplishment of your goal itself is called siddhi accomplished person is accomplished so naishkarmya siddhi he means naishkarmya sya siddhi the person has gained that knowledge of atma for which karma yoga was the purpose was a means okay naishkarmya siddhi that person gains that accomplishment which is what we call moksha moksha i am actionlessness karman ya karma ya pashye akarmani cha karma ya we saw that long ago in chapter 4 chapter 4 chapter 4 so one who sees action in actionlessness and actionlessness in action how beautiful it is so that means what one who in in vyavaharika one sees parama paramarthika in paramarthika one sees vyavaharika as a projection like that also we can we talk to about it quite a bit so This is Sankaracharya's explanation. Okay, he says, "Nishkarmatvasya va nishkriyatma rupa va abasthana lakshanam yaha siddhi nishpatihi ta nishkarmya siddhi paramam prakrta." Etc. He says. Anyway, I explain that. Okay, and uh, and Sankaracharya quotes. He is he is telling Krishna is summarizing. He is not introducing this topic. Is not new to you and me. He is saying sarva karma ni manasa. सन्यस्यास्ते सुकंबशी नवद्वारे पुरे देही नैव कुर्वन्न कारयन इज रिमाइंडिंग अस पर्सन इज एक्टिव पश्यन श्रीमन जिग्रन स्पृशन एक्टिव स्टिल ही सेज नवद्वारे पुरे देही आई एम सिटिंग आई एम फुल आई एम कंप्लीट आत्मनि एव आत्मना तुष्टः नैव कुर्वन्न कारयन नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग आई एम डूइंग एवरीथिंग बट येट आई एम नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग Lee and Yani can say that, and so that is what he is like. That Krishna is saying, and he is saying how and what kind of goal is that? It's called Paramam Siddhim. Paramam Siddhim. We have a lot of accomplishments. We are here today because of a lot of accomplishments. We have survived so many decades. We have survived every year. We have accomplished something or the other. Okay. small things big things and all they survive we, we have accomplished so now so after an accomplish there is always another accomplishment possible something better something different all these years i've been working hard 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 now what i'm retired now what i'm going to go on cruise i've decided i'm going to cruise my next 10 years is going to be on a cruise i'm going to be less on land i'm going to be more on water correct accomplishment because i want to cruise i there many people have been doing it i have been working hard and i didn't do all these things now is the time for me to go to alaska now is the time for me to go on this cruise mexico that that and india also here andaman and nicobar islands 
I have only I have only studied it in the map. It's on island here in the to the east of India. Now I want to go to that island. Correct. Going to the island versus a teacher telling you here is a map of India. Point to where is Andaman and Nicobar Island. What is uh, what is this thing? How, how long can I keep looking at the map? I want to be enter the map. When am I going to do that? What kind of life it is without just being in the middle of the ocean? Yeah. So accomplishments. I want to accomplish this. Next, I want to accomplish that. But here, Krishna is saying, Paramam Siddhyam. Beyond this, there is nothing more to accomplish. That's the end. There's no, there will be nothing more to accomplish. There might be a lot of things to do. That's not, it's all okay. But it won't come under the category of accomplishment. So, that's ultimate. Everything else is intermediate. Karma Yoga is an intermediate siddhi. Intermediate siddhi, important intermediate accomplishment. All right, let's translate the shloka. The one whose mind is the one whose mind is free from attachment everywhere. <clears throat> one whose mind is free from attachment everywhere. Literal translations. Comma, who has self mastery and from whom longing has gone, longing or craving. <clears throat> From whom longing has gone, comma, gains the most exalted accomplishment. Okay, gains the most exalted accomplishment of actionlessness. Of actionlessness, and I forgot to explain to you one word which is called by renunciation. That sanyasena word I forgot. I don't know if you realized it or not, but I realized it. See, making a mistake is what error is human, is human, but to repeatedly error is what, or to repeatedly never even know. In our Parayana classes, our Swamiji is just called us, still, he is calling us. <laughs> Even today, I will tell us, you make a mistake. And did you know that you made a mistake? Oh, well, did, I, did I make a mistake? No, I'm sorry. What can you do? I can only say I'm sorry. So, okay, let's finish this first. By renunciation, I think you wrote down, right? The one whose mind is free from attachment everywhere, who has self-mastery and from whom longing has gone, gains the most exalted accomplishment of actionlessness by renunciation. Okay. That sannyasena, that word is there. So, by sannyasa, he says, so quietly Krishna introduced the word sannyasa. Because jnana yoga, you know. And so, again, literal meaning of sannyasa is what? Ashrama. We have ashrama here, brahmachari or what's the sannyasa? It can apply to any anybody in this in this world, not just to this Vedic culture, but Vedic culture has just lives it, lives it. And so sannyasena, he has used the word before itself, kanmendriyani, sanyamya or sanyasya or samyamya, ya aste manasasmaran, indriya arthan vimudatma. Hey, you know what? You can take to sannyasa. In 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 our culture, it's possible. Anybody can just even without telling others, wear a sannyasa vastra, kashaya vastra, and walk away. And that person will still survive. Because the, the we have a reverence to that person. Reverence. Somebody will give him bhiksha. Somewhere, that person will survive. Somebody will say, come stay here. I have a room. Just stay there. Person can live, survive. 
Yes, that, that's, that ashrama is there very much alive in this country. Now, in other country, not possible. America and all, you can't do this. They will call you some homo. Swami used to call you. Swami used to say, you know, we say, H. H. Swami Dayananda Saraswati. His Holiness Swami Dayananda Saraswati. Swami used to say, Holy Hobo. They will call in America Holy Hobo. Means uh, they don't know what how to deal with this guy. They don't know. Holy, call, call him Holy so that at least we won't be sued, you know. And then Hobo. After that you can say whatever you want. So, if you do take sannyasa like that, then na caution that uh, Vimudha Atma, that person is. And then sannyasas to Mahabhago Dukkamaptu Mayogataha then it is only a source of sorrow. Because the mind is there. You can sit with a cloth wearing that cloth but the mind is just thinking of so many things. It has. It is not Vigata Sprihaha. It has a lot of spriha, longing for a lot of things. It looks at people enjoying going to the mall and all. I said, I wish I could. I, I also want to see the mall. Hey, nothing wrong in wanting to see the mall. But I am restless here. That is a problem. You see the difference? Wanting to go to the mall is not a problem. But that makes me restless right now. That is a problem. So that is why Dukkham to Mayogata. And so here Sanyasena. So Shank Shankara is very smart. You know what he says? Sanyasena Samyak Darshan. Samyak Darshan. I think you understand this. By the right vision. By the Mahavakya Upadesha. Having understood the Mahavakya Upadesha. That is the right vision. I am Atma Brahma. Okay. Aham Brahma Asmi. This Sarvavyapi Brahma Aham Asmi. This Jagatkarana Brahma Aham Asmi. That is called Samyak Darshanam. That is the meaning of sannyasa he gives. Then quietly he says, Tat purva kena va sarva karma sannyasena adhigachati prapnoti. He says, giving up all karma also. Kara will not give up. He will say, okay, what is better than this jnanam is you get jnanam and you take sannyasa also. Why are you sitting with Jnanam sitting at home? Is there any benefit? People won't know. People won't respect you. They will say you are a crazy guy. But you, at least if you have wear this cloth, they will come and do Namaskar. Few people will come do Namaskar and you can say Om Shanti and all. At least you will feel good about it. Correct? Otherwise, they won't know anything about you. Who are you? Nothing. You are studying some morning to evening, some chanting and all you are doing. This guy is crazy. So, he is saying, that Purva Kedan. That Pura Kena means having gained the knowledge, then taking to Sanyasa Ashrama, which is Sarva Karma Sanyas. It's karma, no karma. After that, no duties are there. Sarva Dharma Sanyas. Like that, Shankaraja. Because I have pushes people to take Sanyas. Those days it was like 2500 years back. And Sanyasa was very important. To protect this jnana. Today, if you and I are able to study this, it's because of the sannyasa ashram. Because people have taken to that. It's not easy. Means you need that. That framework is needed. That and takes people to sannyasa. Somebody should say, "I feel like taking sannyasa. I think sannyasa is the right slot for me." Somebody should say that, and they should go, and then they should live that life and be a role model for the rest of society. Then the culture is just alive. And so that sannyasa is taking, and what we say, yes, Swami Paramatma also says it. Okay, sannyasa, that, that ashrama sannyasa is not important. Did you get it or not? That is important. <clears throat> okay, next to shloka. <clears throat> Siddhim prapto yatha brahma. Siddhim prapto yatha brahma. Tathapnoti nibodhame. Tathapnoti nibodhame. Samase naiva kaunteya. Samase naiva kaunteya. Nishta jnanasya yapara. Nishta jnanasya yapara. Right. Anyway. What is the verb here? 
may nibodha that's the verb we may want to just circle it and nibodha it's a request nibodha and bodha nibodha may you understand may you understand may from me may you understand me or may you understand from me from me is better what do you what should you understand from me this person that i described so far in the previous shloka and all called asakta buddhi etc and uh, who is now naishkarmya siddhim becomes his goal that person is called a prapta siddhim prapta obviously because that person gained the siddhi siddhi means what samyak darshanam according to just to use shankara's words samyak darshanam he has gained okay he has gained the knowledge okay so that person yatha brahma apnoti how that person that the person who from karma yogi how did that person become a jnani you have been telling me karma yoga is a nishta is a is a lifestyle which has all these attributes ishvara arpana buddhi prasada buddhi how did that person gain this knowledge that i am going to tell you that i am going to tell you understand from me nibodhame yatha brahma apnoti tatha nibodhame that that you listen to me i'm going to tell you that because this is and 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 how am i going to tell you uh, they will come to that later nishta jnanasya nishta ya para jnanasya nishta that brahma apnoti that gaining of brahma is no different from jnanasya nishta jnanam is gained and then we have to take it a little further and we have to be clear crystal clear about the jnanam initially you get some i got it but then it appears as though we forget it that's sticking to us beta ne something all i got distracted you got distracted then what happened did you forget yeah it appears as though i forgot and so that jnana jnana nishta has to be taken to be there so he is going to talk about nididhyasanam so if somebody asks you what is nididhyasanam we already saw this pratipaksha bhavana no sorry it is called viparita bhavana nivritti viparita bhavana despite all this knowledge and all that i am still the same old that same old idea comes and how to counter that same old that's called that's what nididhyasanam does to us and so that's going to be highlighted by sri krishna in the Uh, upcoming shlokas and so he is preparing our mind for that he says after gaining jnanam how do you get jnana nishta nishta means what steadfastness like we have nishta in so many things we have nishta the basic suppose see suppose you go to the store and they give you a bill Every time you go, the machine gives the bill, and then you pull it and you pay the cash. Come out. Suppose power is gone, and they are taking a piece of paper, writing everything, and then giving it. In America, you know what they do? I was shocked when this happened. Literally, the machine was not working, and the lady said, "Sorry, sir, the store is closed." You can't sell. You mean the door is open? You are there. I am there. If a customer comes, a customer is there. <laughs> the product is there, and you are there. I have cash in my hand also to give. What's your problem? No, sir. The machine is not working. I I I was so shocked that day. I didn't know. I didn't even couldn't even figure out what is going on. It took me a while to figure this out. So they can't operate. That's it. But here in India, it won't always be like that. They will say, "Come on, let's business. We will find another way to do the business. What is there? So what if the machine is not working? So suppose it comes to some eight hundred rupees, twenty-three rupees. You are looking at, it, and he also tells you, 'Can you please check if I added it properly?' Then what do you do? Oh, addition? Oh, I don't addition and all. I don't. It's been long time since I school. I'm seventy years old." 
No, nobody says that. They look at it and do that. Why? Nishta is there. This basic algebra, Nishta is there. Nobody says, oh, no, they don't do here at all. In America, they'll say, I'm not a math person. I used to just break my head against the wall. What is this they're saying? I used to, what math person? What do you know? I'm not a math person. I'm not a name person. Means what? I don't have to remember names anymore. I don't remember your name. Now, you can't, you can't blame me for anything. Because I'm not a name person. I'm not a name person. They have all these phrases, my God. So, Nishta, Ya Para Nishta. So, that Siddhi, which is the ultimate, and how to gain that steadfastness, Nishta, in that Jnana, I'm going to tell you, Nibodhane. And how am I going to tell you? Samasena. Samasena. Samasa means brief, in brief. Sankshepena. Briefly, I'll tell you. Not Vistarena. Vistarena, I just told you in so many chapters. Sixth chapter was devoted to all this. And since I am seeing some blank stares on your face, I will tell you, but I'll tell you briefly. I am not going to make this into 28 chapters. This is the last chapter. You and I have decided that. And so, Samasena. Meshrudu. Men go there. Okay. So, that's the overall idea that is conveyed in this shloka. We will come back. I want to come back to the shloka a little bit. But uh, we can translate the shloka now. <clears throat> and I think we've covered all the words. Kaunteya, he kaunteya, etc. Okay. Learn from me in brief. Learn from me in brief. Arjuna. Okay, so in the pre, I, I said uh, this this Siddhi. Siddhi also means Antakarana Shuddhi. Okay, Siddhi is also Antakarana Shuddhi because what is the goal of Karma Yoga? Karma Yoga's accomplishment is Antakarana Shuddhi. Correct? Antakarana Shuddhi. So here the translation will have Antakarana Shuddhi as a goal. Then once Antakarana Shuddhi is accomplished, not a day, particular time of the day or anything, it's gradually accomplished. And then what happens? A person goes to Jnana Yoga. So that's what is going to be. The transition is going to be mentioned in this shloka. So now, how the one who has gained the accomplishment, okay, that Siddhi is called accomplishment, right? Accomplishment. Within brackets, of Antakkarana Shuddhi. Not of Moksha, of Antakkarana Shuddhi. Uh, Guruji, can you, repeat, can you repeat from the beginning, please? Yes. Learn from me in brief. Learn from me in brief. Kama. Arjuna. How the one who has gained accomplishment how the one who has gained accomplishment and within brackets of Antakarana Shuddhi Gains the ultimate, gains the ultimate certainty of knowledge, gains the ultimate certainty of knowledge that is Brahman. Ultimate certainty of knowledge, that is Brahman. Gains the ultimate certainty of the knowledge that is Brahman. Learn from me in brief. 
Arjuna. How the one who has gained the accomplishment of Antakkarana Shri gains the ultimate certainty of the knowledge that is Brahman, which is Swamiji's translation. Yeah, everybody got it? Resume the next class. <clears throat> Apadama Pahartaram Dataram Sarvasampadam Loka Bhiramam Sri Ramam Bhuyo Bhuyo Namam Yaham Kale Varshatu Pajanya Prithivi Sasya Shalini Desho Yamksho Bharahitaha Brahmana Santu Nirbhayaha Om Pur Namadaf Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachyate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Dameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 Harihi Om Shri Guru Bhyona Maha Harihi Om Daniela Guruji.